We've been building a pump track here on the channel and last week we built a 90 degree berm. This berm ended up having a flaw though. As I would lay down the decking, it would gain about an inch or so gap on both sides. Now, this wasn't anything that would stop me from riding it, but it didn't look great. So I asked you guys for some help and someone responded. That's someone being Chris Colloway. I sent him the details for the berm and he sent back the Mona Lisa of blueprints. So in this video, we are gonna put these blueprints to the test, and I'm also happy to say Squarespace is on board again for this one, so a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. One of the great advantages of having a full set of blueprints is we get to cut all of our pieces out ahead of time, as opposed to winging it, which takes quite a lot of time and also results in varying widths of things. So to start out, we are going to cut a buttload of support boards. Oh, and uh, I got a new bike, so I'll introduce that too as we go along. But first, let's cut some boards. If you're going to try and make this, make sure you mark all of your boards. A lot of these look very similar to each other and it's just gonna make things run way smoother whenever we go to assemble everything. What we're gonna do now is measure out these pieces right here, this little, it's the side piece for the structures or for each module. And then we'll cut one out and then we'll have a template and we can go ahead and cut out the rest of them. As I was making my berms and cutting out these pieces, I also had something else being made. My new bike. Adam, the owner of a local bike shop called Mountain Bike Shed, agreed to help me get everything put together while I was busy building up my berms. So a huge thank you needs to be said to him and Darren who put the bike together. If you live in or near St. Louis, this is the shop to go to. I highly recommend them. Even if you're just stopping by, maybe to check out our new mountain bike park, he's just minutes away from there. So go check out Mountain Bike Shed in Eureka. All right, guys, if you haven't guessed it by now, my new bike is the Alchemy Arctos. It's a gorgeous short travel 29er that Alchemy kindly sent out to me to give a try. I've had my eye on Alchemy for quite some time now because of how jaw-droppingly gorgeous their bikes are, and I just really, really wanted to try one of these. Now clearly this thing gets a 10 out of 10 on the absolutely freaking gorgeous scale, but we're gonna put it to the test once we get our berms built up. So let's get back to that. Now we've cut all of our structural walls and now we need to cut the decking. For this, we'll need to get a center line laid out because we want two per sheet of plywood and these things barely fit. So to make it easy, I've got a chalk line. So what I'm gonna do is stick this directly on this little point, nice and tight. And then, a couple snaps and there you go go and cut out a bunch more of these pieces of decking I'm gonna put one of the modules together that way we can see that everything is working properly but actually I'm gonna go ahead and put my curve cuts along the back so when we go to push this decking on it'll push down much easier than uh, not doing anything at all I feel like I'm laying in provocative positions when I talk to you guys. <laughs> so, since we've got this one done, I'm gonna pull it outside, take it out next to the other berms, and then guys, we're just gonna cut out the rest of these deckings and then put together the rest. So it's just gonna be a big old time lapse getting all that done so we can get this big 180 degree berm.
and Chris's blueprints worked nearly perfectly, except for one thing, the spacer. It was supposed to help with the board spacing, but it ended up being easier just measuring and marking where each one would go. And now that we have all six modules made up, we can start to move our pump track together again. So let's do that. This looks insane. <laughs> So after a few tries, it became quite apparent to me that I wasn't going to get enough speed to send the step up. So I got an idea. It's getting close to sunset. I want to try and send this thing a few more times, but Adam and Dave of Gort Gravity and Mountain Bike Shed are coming over and we're going to see if we can do this thing. Hopefully they bring some lights out and uh, we can send this into the night and try to get it. Give her hell. <laughs> First up, Adam gave it a try. <laughs> After he gave it the old college try a couple times, it was apparent that he wasn't going to get this either. So next we had Dave try it on his e-bike. And sadly, no luck for him either. Oh, he rolled that high as... And this is Erica. She tried it too, and also no luck. Ooh, watch it! Dang, so sick. Did I get to do it? <laughs> yep. Okay, so we pretty much gave up on this step up for now. So we're gonna take a little time in the muddy, muddy woods and uh, play around on some of the drops. And on the new bike, let's see how it uh, how it rides. Stay, stay. <laughs> Took a treat. Oh, you're all clogged up. After Dave clogged up his e-bike, it was time to finally get back to business. I decided the step up was a lost cause, so me and Adam went ahead and moved the modules around. This made the pump track way more rad, so we moved things around again for a final game of widen the gap until someone gets hurt. Yeah! Before things got too bad, I had to call it quits here. I really dug this setup though, so I might think about keeping the step up reversed as a step down in the future. But that's kind of the whole point of these modules though, isn't it? I get to move them any way I want. And speaking of things I want, this bike is proving to be awesome. It's super playful and it's just overall a really fun 29er. I won't give a final verdict seeing as I just got it, but I definitely recommend going and checking out their website in the description. And speaking of websites, if you are a YouTuber like me or any other creator for that matter, we tend to like to do things ourselves, but it can be really hard to build your own website from scratch. So for that, I use Squarespace because of how simple it is to make absolutely stunning websites with minimal time 
time and effort, like dangerously stunning websites. If you guys are ready to take your business to the next level, head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash backyard trail builds to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, so that is it for this one, guys. I wanna say a huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are killing it on the support and I can't thank you enough. It's, yeah, it's insane what you guys do for me. So thank you. Um, I also wanna say thank you to Alchemy Bikes for sending out that, that uh, Arctos. It's freaking awesome. And Mountain Bike Shed for putting it together. And Chris for making the blueprints. <laughs> There's a lot to be thankful for in this episode, but I also want to thank you guys for just watching. Um, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe because I thoroughly appreciate that. But um, yeah, everything turned out pretty good and I'm excited about getting the other berms made up. Uh, yeah, that might take a while though. But until then, I will see you guys at the next build.